After MCP, Anthropic has come up with another killer tool. Imagine you are working with an AI agent. Maybe it's helping you code, analyze data, or manage your workflows. The agent is smart, but it doesn't know your specific processes, your company's standards, or the exact way you want things done. Every time you need to do it something specialized, you have to write long, detailed prompts explaining the entire process. And if you are using different AI tools, you are rewriting those instructions over and over again. This is the context problem that this new tool, Agent Skills from Anthropic solves. And I can tell you from my real world experience with various clients across the globe, this is badly needed and this is going to be as big as model context protocol this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps please follow me on x if you're looking for ai updates without any hype in this video we are going to see what exactly this agent skills is plus I am also going to show you a hands-on demo with a local model as how to embed it in your own use case. But it is extremely important to first really understand what this agent skill or skills is and what problem it is trying to solve. Agent skills is an open format that lets you package up instructions, scripts, and resources into reusable folders that any compatible AI agent can discover and use. Think of it like giving your AI agent a library card. Instead of explaining everything from scratch, the agent can check out the exact knowledge it needs when it needs it. So you write a skill once and it works across different AI tools. It is portable, version controlled, and most importantly, it makes your agents actually useful for real work. And that is the whole game here. So let me show you this diagram, which is going to explain it further as what exactly is happening behind the scene. On the left, we have the agent configuration, and that should be very familiar if you have built agents. This is where you tell the agent which skills it has access to. So you can see skills like BigQuery, DocX, PDF, and NDA review are there. The agent also knows about these skills through its core system prompt. Now the magic happens on the right hand side, the agent's virtual machine. This is the actual computer environment where the agent operates with access to Bash, Python, Node.js, and a file system. Let's say, for example, all those skill directories live right here in the file system, and each one is just a folder with a skill.md file. And I will show you the content shortly, but that is a core and heart of this agent skills, skill.md file. And then we have some optional extras like scripts or reference docs. When the agent starts up, and this is important, please li listen. When the agent starts up, it quickly scans these skill directories and loads just the name and description from each skill.md. That's the lightweight discovery phase. When you ask it to do something like review this NDA, the agent matches your natural language request to the NDA review skill, then reads the full skill.md file to get detailed instructions. If it needs more help, it can read additional files like reference.md or run any script, which will be in the same directory. This progressive disclosure means the agent stays fast, but has deep expertise on demand. That's a core concept. Skills are just folders in the file system that agents can discover, match, and activate as needed. Okay, now let me show you a real world example. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. And if you're looking to rent a v G, uh, you know, GPU, CPU or VM on very, very good cheap prices, you can find the link to mast compute in videos description. And I will also give you a 50% discount coupon for a range of GPU. So please do check them out. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a local model with Olama. And I'm going to go with this OpenAI's model, which is a local model. 
um, and we will use it with ulama here and if you don't know what ulama is just search on my channel there are heaps of videos as how to get it installed okay so for the demo one let me show you how to do it first up what the idea here is i have just created this random python code there is some bad code here some api keys are exposed some dummy password and all that stuff it's a bad code first i'm going to run it without skill with that model of olama and then we will run it with skill and we will see the difference so running without skill is simply this where i'm using olama to run this model on this query to review the python code and find all issues so it's a thinking model reasoning model it is thinking and then you can see that it has already found a lot of issues and that's great but look at this output it's got a thinking section a huge table with 20 rows plus then code example then another test table it's comprehensive but really verbose and if i run this again tomorrow i might get a completely different format so now let me show you what happens when we add a skill let me take you to my vs code this is where we have defined the skills in the skill.md file now if you look at this file this is a structure of skills.md it's really simple at the very top we have this yaml formatter between these three dashes right this is a metadata section and it only has two required fields name which is a short identifier like python code reviewer and description this is crucial because it tells agent when to use this skill notice how many description mentions python code security issues review and bugs these are all the keywords that agent is going to match with your natural language prompt or question after this formatter everything below is just plain markdown there is no special syntax or rules and i have just organized it into sections and you can just do it as per your own use case there is no fixed stuff like i'm just going to go with like when to use this skill and this is what i use with a lot of client in real world so it's free for you use it in your use cases i find that this sort of agent uh, definition description works most of the time and then you see that i have a detailed review checklist where i have broken it into security performance and code quality each with specific thing to look for and then i have also given it a priority uh, like you know this is the highest priority and then there are some uh, performance issues that need to find out and quick win and stuff so you can just copy paste and use it um, so this is what i'm going to use in the skills.amd and this is a script where i'm just using olama to use this skill.md file on that uh, prompt which i'm going to give it to it so let me go here let me clear the screen and run that with skills.md so i'm just going to run this it is going to check out with that olama section and there you go so you see much much cleaner there is no thinking section no giant table clear structure with some emojis i can scan quickly critical issues at the top as you can see quick wins at the bottom for immediate action so a consistent format for every single time if i run it and this is what i want for my business use case and this is what i have received so that's agent skills a simple open format that gives ai agents structured expertise expertise just a folder with skills.md file and it's already supported by cloud code cursor and you know community is growing the format is open that simple and you can start building today please like the video and subscribe and please please become a member if you want to help and follow me on x thank you for all the support